Hello, my name is Mrs Phillips and I'm in charge of health and social care at Mighton School. I hope this PowerPoint will give you a quick introduction to health and social care and what you can expect from the health and social care course if you do choose to do it. So what is health and social care? Health and social care has a work related focus. This means that whilst you will learn about a range of topics and skills needed in the health and social care sector, you will also learn what that looks like in the real world. We don't just study the theory behind the topics, but how they are applied across a wide range of health and social care settings. You will learn in ways that help you to develop a wide variety of skills that are needed to work well with people. Skills that are essential in health and social care, but also in most work and study settings as well. In year nine, we focus on introducing you to a broad range of topics to give you a general understanding of the health and social care setting, alongside learning about how people grow and develop from the moment they are born and all the way through the various life stages. So in year nine, we try to give you a broad and varied introduction to the things that you will be looking at when you progress on to studying the curriculum in more detail. Once you start formally following the Tech Award content in year 10, we will study three components of work. As you can see from the slide, components one and two are assessed by completing a range of coursework tasks, and component three is assessed by a written assessment that is marked externally. So it's very much like an exam. Component one, human lifespan development, is about how we grow and develop from the moment we're born right the way through to later adulthood. So we will spend quite a bit of time looking at children, their growth and development in infancy, into early childhood and adolescence. We then go on to look at the stages of adulthood. And when we've covered what all that looks like, we think about all the different factors that can affect development throughout those life stages. Component two, health and social care services and values. In this unit, you will look at the roles and responsibilities of all the different people that work in the different sectors of the health and social care. So we'll look at who works in a hospital, what they do, what their responsibilities are, alongside all the other health and social care settings. And like component one, this is assessed with a piece of coursework. And finally, component three is called health and wellbeing. In component three, you will pull together a lot of the knowledge that you have gained from component one and apply it to how we can maintain our health and wellbeing. So this piece of work is assessed by an external assessment. So it's an exam. So why study health and social care? If you choose to study health and social care, it will help you to understand how we grow and develop. It will help you to understand the roles of people that work in the health and social care sector and the skills that they need to carry out their roles in a caring and effective way. You will learn about what good health is and the factors that affect a person's health and well-being. Importantly, you will develop a wide range of skills and aptitudes which are needed across your working life. So even if you don't choose to go into the health and social care sector, the skills that you will learn in health and social care are transferable both into other lines of work and into further study. If you've got any questions about health and social care, please do get in contact with me. I'll be available at the Open Evening Parents Evening or feel free to email me and my email address is on the slide.
Thank you.